Hello everyone, I am Quirky Taco and welcome back to Fallout 4 Men and Men. On our last episode, we helped out a settlement and made our little garden. This episode, hopefully advance the story a little bit more and fix up this place a bit more. Right now, what I'm going to try to do is fix their living situation because look at what they're living on. Fucking sleeping bag. I can't have them living like this. So what I'm going to do is build a little house for them right here. I didn't do a great job explaining this last time. This is gonna be for Mama Murphy. I'm gonna move her chair here, and I'm probably gonna have a little cup in there, you know, something. Jet, cause you know she'd be she'd be high as fuck sometimes. In there. Just shove these tomatoes in here, cause why not for now? <laughs> okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fix it up later, but um, there I have the food that's necessary for this place. Well, this place Surges, is starting up? to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, Your lips ain't moving, homie. We establish ourselves here. Thank you. More of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. I'm gonna build the one with a tower so he doesn't have to relax a little bit. I'm gonna build two of these for now for Preston. That'll help make everyone feel a little more secure. Thanks. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Oh. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door is always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Do you not have a chair yet? Don't you talk to you, Mama Murphy, for a chair? You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that ice box. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. The thing I don't understand, my character just assumes that she's able to tell the future, but... When he first met Mama Murphy, he was like, oh my god, you know who my son is? You, you saw where I came from? Like, he instantly trusted that she had this ability, which is kind of strange, you know? I'll see if I can find some. My hero. Hey. Got something with a bit of a kick for me, kid? No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'd rather not give it to her because I'm supposed to be a mini light. Miniman. Than you'd think. If the Kims are going to kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. You're a crazy bitch. We don't need the sight. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. All right, kid. You got me. Let's go. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go clean. No more chems. No more sight. I'm busy. The one thing that's really fucking annoying about Mama Murphy is that even like t 10 in-game years, she'll be like, I'm as good as my word, kid. No more cams every fucking five minutes. I'm like, okay, bitch, I get it. Get the fuck away. Let's trade. Mama Murphy's as good as her word, kid. You no see? No more cams and no more sight either. No more sight either. Okay. <sighs> Shit. The fuck? Um, Preston. How? How did you get up there? The fuck are you doing up there?
All right, this is going to be their house, this, the settler's house for now. Sure, when we get more settlers, I'm going to have to have more room. But don't worry, that's what the other houses are for. For now, this is a pretty good setup for them. All rat infested. Damn it, where are they? How the fuck? <laughs> Preston, are you just gonna be like, uh, uh, dude, dude, something? This is radiated. <sighs> yeah, it is, okay. Right yeah, it's done. That seemed way too empty to be. Oh, let's go. It seems too, like, not infested to not do anything here. Not be. There we go. Oh, damn. Get you back. Give me old leather. Rads here, Jesus Christ. Okay, let me take some rad eggs when you go in here. Lock's really strong. Okay, well. Alright. Jesus Christ. Overland station. Hey, homies, what's up? Let me just quick save real quick. Hello there. <clears throat> Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. Yeah, we'll fuck them up. Huh? Oh, these fucking raiders. Bitches. Nah, that was an accident. Oh, I'm gonna drink some water real quick. Wow. Oh, it's pressing. <laughs> oh, I feel fucking stupid. Just shooting at pressing. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" You sure that's worth taking with us? That's just like junk to me. I fuck you. I never understood Preston's like, logic. He's like, that just looks like junk to me whenever you pick up junk. I'm like, bro, it's for your settlement. You're over talking shit. Like, fuck off, fool. We're helping people. You like it? Ugh. Like Preston, we're helping people. And you're over complaining about me getting junk. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, when we first go met, ahead. I, admit, I had my doubts about you. 
but you've done nothing but impress me. Man, I just opened a door and you're already you telling me about like how grave a person I am. Thanks. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. It sounds like you were really making a difference. I think we were. I know we were. But obviously it didn't last. I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it. Keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. And a lot of it has to do with your example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thanks. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We probably better get back to it. All right, what an awkward time to ask me shit, Preston, because there's people in here. Security is too good. Not here. Pack it in, boys. There's nothing out there. I will sub little teddy bear. I know you're asleep, but I want to tell you I got rid of your raider problem, homie. I took care of those raiders for you. <laughs> I love how you have to wait for them to slowly get up really? from bed. Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. All right. Hey, yo, hey, Preston. Point. What now? Our, our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Pretty sure it's this white one. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. Eventually, you'll be the second. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Never seen anything like this. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers. But more I look so fucking ugly, oh my god. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. It's a long story. Of course, darling. A lady knows when not to cry. Now, where was I? Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions. Rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. This took a weird turn. 
Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? The water? Oh, it's ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This Don't have skin, though, you're a robot, right? bitch. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it Probably. working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Alright. Let me go do that for you. Oh, it's super mutants, my bad. Man, let's fuck some shit up. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god. <laughs> blow Preston, blow Preston, blow Preston. Damn I'm gonna throw a grenade, hopefully he's gonna activate the nuke in his hand. <laughs> I have a better idea. Preston, hey. baby! Oh fuck, Head go over there. there. Get over there. Get the fuck over there, Preston. Go over there. <laughs> There's only the rocket launcher. Thank you, Preston. You took one for the team. I love you. Oh, that's fight soldier. Fucking stem him. Don't drink the fucking water. Oh, hello. Let me stem him. Oh fuck, I should probably deal with that fucker. Yeah, I'm aware I need to heal, but guess what? I'm overcumbered. I have so much fucking remember, dude. Yeah, 
Yeah, up to the boundaries. I should have came here later. Hey. Okay. Damn it. Where are they? All right. Guess what I'm gonna do instead? Just what I'm gonna do instead is just kill everything in here, then loot at the end. Because I'm not dealing with that bullshit again. <laughs> Speed run this shit. Come on, hurry the fuck up. Should I put a point in? I'm gonna choose inspiration. I mean, local leader. I'm, gonna, I'm choosing local leader for this one. This motherfucker's fast. Oh my god. <gasps> Jesus Christ, why was he so fast? Oh my god, oh okay, that's what
Watch out, Preston. Danny Bobby Pins. Oh my god. Hey, come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me. I know you guys are scared. You're scared. You're scared. Bitches. I'll find him. I fucking hate dealing with my alerts because they have so much health. And they always just come out and orange jump scare you.
that a dog? What the hell are we past here? Hello there. Hey bitch. I don't know why you're just staring at us. I was gonna take any. I was gonna take some anyway. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta -ta. All right. All right, guys. We did a lot in this video. We we helped out two settlements. We ha helped out fucking Mama Murphy with her cam addiction, and we built this house for all the settlers and sanctuary. All right, guys. That will wrap up today's video. See you guys next time. Peace. And I like good trees Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe And I get more ass than a toilet seat Three to the one, from the one to the three Great! What the fuck are you doing? How did you get up there?